Good morning guys and gals. Froggy here. What I have for you today is another tool and a, an alignment setup tool from ART, Advanced Racing Technologies. They're in Salt Point, New York. Uh, been in business for 20 years and I like their tools. Um, they sent me this one for evaluation. Uh, so I'm going to show it to you. Uh, what it is is a a dial indicator chassis ride height gauge. Uh, this is what you use to check and set your ride height on your uh, your race car. And in this case, it's going to be my C my C5 Z06 Corvette right there. First, I'm going to show you how to um, to set it up. Uh, basically, uh, what I call calibrate it. Uh, before you use it. Um, so the first thing you do right here, there's seven holes on the tool and the number seven hole is the calibrate hole. I, I wrote calibrate on there um, and this is a, uh, a knob that you put in that hole and when you do that on the right hand side here there's a machined piece that's part of the tool it's exactly one inch tall so that's your first inch of your ride height basically you want to slide the the knob so that that's one inch there you can see it moving there you see how it's it's come out that's going to be your ride height adjustment but to calibrate it you set it you can put a piece of flat stock or I even just use my finger to make that sure that that tape that's coming out the measuring tape is exactly even with the top of this one inch piece and then you take this red knob and lock it down there that's step one. Step two uh, is to adjust this screw here. This is the Allen screw. Adjust that so that your dial needle is approximately the nine o'clock position. If this was twelve, three, six, nine o'clock. And um, it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be over in this area because this is going to be used to zero out your dial indicator. Once you've got that locked down and it's pointing approximately nine o'clock, mine is about eight or eight thirty, I guess you'd call it. Loosen up this thumb screw on the dial indicator and rotate this bezel on the dial until it points to zero and then lock it down right there. Perfect. So what you've done is you've set this is going to give you your last bit of measurement, your last precision bit of measurement for your ride height. Now I'm going to show you on the bench first how the tool works and then I'll take it to the car. My ride height in the front is three and a half inches from the measuring point that I use. So I've set this little tape to three and a half inches right there. That's three and a half inches. So on the tool you're going to use a chart that is included in the instructions for the tool to set the red thumb knob in the number five position. Number five would be for a ride height of three to four inches. And what you're going to get, let me show you, here's your first inch right here, one inch, two inch, three inch, and then the dial indicator is going to give you the half right there, okay? So we've got it in number five. You don't tighten this all the way down, you just leave it a little bit loose. We've got one inch already showing. Now the tape is coming up, 
see that little tape coming up there's two inch see I get one position there there's three inch this is one two three three inches now I'm hitting my dial indicator and when I get to three and a half which I'm going to show you right there I've got one two three for the holes two three for the holes and then the dial indicator is going to give you my half inch um, now reading a dial indicator I'm not going to get into that there's a lot of information available on the internet uh, you can go on YouTube and you can find some really good explanations about reading a dial indicator um, so th that's beyond this demonstration here but the dial indicator gives you that last really close precision measurement of the ride height now let me show you on the car so the place I measure to on my Corvette for ride height is a jacking hole there's a jacking point right there and there's one over in the back there I don't have it indicated the front one I have indicated with a silver tape mark so I'm going to slide my tool in so that it's underneath right there I can feel it with my finger it is my jacking point and I know it's 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 about three and a half inches so I'm going to start sliding my my red knob sliding it up you can see my tape coming out there and the la and now the dial indicator is moving for the last little bit let me feel under there make sure I'm in the right spot yeah right there so I go until it hits there I can feel it hit and then I tighten this down now the best way to get this out don't just grab it out of there real hard take it and push forward and tip it a little bit so what you're trying to do is not damage the end of this if you did ever happen to damage the end of this this can be replaced with a standard uh, metal metal tape measure it's it's very strong but if the end of it did get uh, damaged it's replaceable which is one of the nice things about this tool now let me show you the other really good thing about this tool the real place where you're supposed to measure ride height on this is over near the control arm which you can never reach in there with a regular ruler or anything else but with this tool watch this and this will be a different ride height measurement so it's not going to be three and a half like my uh, jacking hole is three and a half um, this would have to be calculated because what you're doing basically is you want the rear a little bit higher than the front usually or maybe you want it flat it depends on what kind of racing you're doing um, but this is another, uh, this is the official place to measure that ride height and with this tool you can reach in there slide it in it is actually almost about three and a half there but you slide it right in do the measuring just like I showed you on the uh, on the tie down hole pull it out and perfection you've got your ride height you take that to your bench you write it down and then you're going to go to three other locations and do it I'm not going to show you all those locations uh, but that's how the tool works it it works like a dream it's a it's a beautiful tool it's got a nice finish um, polished aluminum and it might have a clear coat on it I'm not sure if it has a clear coat or not uh, but it's uh, it's a tool that I got from ART advanced racing technologies Inc and uh, they'd be happy to set you up with one of these and then you can uh, do a more professional 
measuring of your ride height rather than using just a uh, uh, one of those wind up uh, tapes or uh, try to do it with a ruler or cutting down pieces of ruler or whatever I've done them all I've, I've done a lot of different ways but uh, now I've got a real tool that I can use uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, I do it for you guys and gals so that you can uh, uh, help uh, work on your own cars and uh, I uh, will uh, see you later. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, or, or a like, and subscribe to Froggy's channel if you want more. Okay, see you later guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye.